So in today's video, I'll be showing you obstacle avoidance. Thank you. Always make sure home point has been updated. Anyway, today's video is about obstacle avoidance with the Mini 4 Pro. Now, about a month ago, I did the Mini 3 Pro and I thought that did really well with, um, I'm back in the same place with the obstacles. So we've got low lying trees, we've got some twigs hanging down. Now, officially, the four should even be better, but I was pretty impressed with the three, but we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. So the first thing you need to do, guys, top right hand corner, the three dots, press that into safety. Now at the moment, where it's got obstacle avoidance action, put it onto bypass. So that means it'll go around any obstacle. And then if you scroll down, to advanced settings, what you don't want to happen, especially in a place like this, we've got a lot of trees. You don't want to go into, if you lost signal, into return to home. So you put it into hover. You confirm that. Okay, that's done. So it's all ready to take off. What I will mention before we carry on with this, is when you finish this and you go out to another location, say you're going to be flying over the sea, make sure that you put the hover back to return to uh, <laughs> return to home and not hover, just in case you, you had a low battery, for instance. And also change the uh, bypass back to brake because it won't revert back. Unless it does, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens later. Anyway, first thing we've got to do is get the drone up in the air. At the moment you can hear it twinking away there it's because it's it's close to things what i'm going to do let's get to set it back over that direction a moment oh no 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 we'll be all right bring that gimbal up we're just getting it set up first so we draw the box around me we put on active track i quite like that i'm going to put on the video as well We'll do it again because it clicked out okay so it's on trace so the drone should be following me so it's so what happens So this, this here is a little bit confined here. It might have a problem coming through here. We'll just see what happens. Can I get up on, on that slope? I can't. So I think the drone's got lost there because it was quite thick. I'm gonna give, give it its due on that. I'm gonna come back out. Now hopefully it should pick me up. No, no, it's lost me. Okay. So, let's turn that back a little bit. Okay. Put the box around me. Active track, go. It's following me again. Okay, that... Well, it's a big enough gap here. I think like with all these things, if you're walking about, you still have to give it a chance to pick you up. Right now, here it's low. I'm going to see if, it, if I can go through here. Probably won't. 
probably right there's a lot of low twigs there okay it's um i think it's doing quite well there okay it's sort of managed to get itself around that one Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can go through here. Let's just see what happens. There's quite a few low line twigs here, and I'll see how it's doing. It seems to be doing it well. If I can, oh, no, bit of disaster. <laughs> you just saw that. Um, now I'm going to give it its due. Um, I didn't, get, unfortunately, get out on camera there. There is, there was some low-lying twigs. Now I think this is the problem. I think people expect the drones to pick it all up. Something really bushy, no problem. But any, any twigs. What I'm going to think I am going to do, I'm going to try and fly it on the same course as I did with the free. So we just go and do that and see how. Because I didn't think it did really well. I didn't think it, the three, amazing. But the four at the moment didn't do very well. But I'm going to take, try and take it on the same course I did the other days. We'll see what happens there. Right, so I went that far really. I haven't moved the car, but this was, I'm sure this was the location where I did the Mini 3 Pro. And I thought it did really well. So we're going to get the drone off the air first. What I will do, as I was talking about, Will it reset back to uh, bypass? And actually, we go to the three dots. Okay, safety. Okay, so it's still on bypass. I'm just going to check uh, the advanced settings. Okay, it's still on hover. So, so what I'll do is bring up the drone a little bit. Okay, that's about right. Go fly okay and we just bring that down draw the box around me okay active track i'm gonna put on the record i'll put on go so we've got the trace on so it's already drones already setting itself up i could try and do the same Turn around now, so the drone will go back behind me, or will it? No, nope, it's staying in front of me. That's pretty good. I'm just going to go through this way. Okay, the drone's still maneuvering around. It's obviously trying to get around to the back of me. There's the car. I'm trying to give it a bit of a test. Obviously, I think the first one, it was a little bit difficult because of the hanging down twigs. So what well, I'm gonna go through this way. Let's see how it copes. You can see those branches there okay we'll bring it back around we've got this little bit here
Okay, what I will try, I'm going to try the 360 active track, and we're just going to see how well that copes. So what I want to try and do is bring that around to the front. So the drone is just setting itself up. It's just going around. I want to see how it copes. You've just seen that tree there. It's managed to get around that tree. So the drones come around to the front now. Okay, so I'm going to walk. So officially the drone's going to stay in front of me. That's the plan. So we've got trees behind it. Um, I think you just got to give it a little bit of time to come around. Okay, it's stopped. Let's put active track on again. Let's come out of that a minute. Okay, for some reason it came out of active track then. Okay. Let's bring it up to the front there. Maybe it doesn't, maybe obstacle avoidance is not, it's, so it's done it again, it's stopped. Oh no, 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 it's, it's, no, it's doing it. Okay, okay. Okay, it's done it this time. Right, let's see how it copes this time. So I'm trying to keep in front of the drone. Now we got, low lying twigs there you probably can't hear me now anyway i think what it's trying to do now is trying to maneuver around to the front of me but it knows that there's obstacles on the other side of it it's because i'm walking i'm learning every time i'm using this um device now and you can see those those trees there now hopefully when it comes out into the open like now we'll just see if that drone comes around to the front it's not is it <laughs> so what do i think about today 50 50 i think um now when I first got here and did the first one, admittedly, there was some low twigs hanging down. Uh, a drone hit it. Thankfully, no, no damage to the drone. The props look fine, as far as I can see, which is the main thing, isn't it? Any about, anything about cracking, there's no cracking as well. So that's good. And it, it flew again, no problems afterwards. Um, the second time, yeah, it was all right. So I, I did try out the 360 on it as well. Um, it, it sort of worked and it didn't sort of work. So maybe you, officially you can't do that on the avoidance. I think it's always worth experimenting with some of the modes just to see if you can sort of intermix them. Um, it, it sort of worked and it didn't. I mean, the second time it, it worked fine. So maybe if I'd, done, if I'd shown the, the second one as the first one, if you got what I mean, it, it probably worked pretty fine. Um, I, to me personally, I thought the, the Free Pro avoidance um, worked really well. I had no problems with that. Um, whereas this one, I think I, maybe I tested it a little bit more because it's got all that around avoidance on it. And um, yeah, so I'm sort of 50-50. Be great to hear what your opinion is on this. Um, Obviously, I haven't got a bike and I haven't got anything that moves fast other than the car. I don't think it's that interesting in the car. I think it's pretty interesting if you're walking and that. So anyway, as always, hope you found it interesting. Get a thumbs up if you liked it. Get a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And as always, guys, just enjoy flying your drone. Catch you on the other one very soon. Mm -hmm.